Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deirdre and today I created this look for you. It's got a little bit of pink, a little bit of silver, a little bit of orange. Perfect for the summer. Kind of feeling it. Paired it with this um, pink metallic lip. I hope that you guys like it. Please keep on watching for the tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to apply a soft over paint pot to my as my shadow base to prevent the shadow from creasing, helping it last longer and make the colors more vibrant on my eyelid because since I have a darker skin tone, I have darker eyelids. And we want these colors to be popping. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a neutral color and apply it all over my lid on top of the base that I just set down to help the shadows to blend easier and provide a more even base. And I'm just applying this with a large eyeshadow brush. You can use a light color eyeshadow, you can use your face powder, whatever you want. So I think today I'm going to play with two different color palettes. So the first one I'm going to use is the Coastal Scents 88 palette and the second one I'm going to be using today is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. Starting off with the Coastal Scents palette, I am going to put in my crease, um, this color right here. And I'm going to apply that with a large fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is a Sephora number 13. And we are going to put this right into the crease. And then I think I'm going to apply on top of that the next shade down. This is like slightly darker. And add a little bit more color. So it was a little bit light for me. And I really want this color to show. And we're going to blend that up towards the brow. Okay, so so far we have used this color in the crease and then we went down to this color in the crease and now we're going to the next color. And I'm going to apply that more concentrated on my crease area and I'm going to use another crease brush but this one is a little bit more um, dense and thin so it's not as fluffy and I'm going to apply that color right in the crease area only just to kind of give this area a little bit of depth Okay, so now we're moving on to the Vice palette. I'm going to add a little bit of this color right here to the inner part of the crease and I'm going to apply it with an even more dense, thinner crease brush because we're just going to have it in the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is called Fastball, and we are going to add this to the inner part of the eyelid. So with that first color we just mentioned, which is called Bitter, we are going to apply this to just the inner, or not inner, the outer part of the eye, just right here. I'm gonna go back with the original, like kind of fluffy brush that we first used and just help blend 
that out so that there are no harsh lines. All right, so I'm going to take a flat synthetic eyeshadow brush. This is a MAC 214, I think. And I'm gonna apply that next color, which is Fastball. And I'm actually gonna apply this to the outer corner of my eye. It's a really pretty, almost dual chrome pink. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in with the Idiot palette and I'm going to take this very first silver color and I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye with that same flat eyeshadow brush. And you're just going to apply it right in here. And then blend the two eyeshadows together in the middle. And I think I might go back with the pink outer shimmery and just kind of blend in a little bit together more seamlessly in the middle. So now I'm going to apply this Coastal Scents color called Reef Sand as my highlight. I know a lot of people like to do their eyebrows before they do their makeup, but I actually like to do my eyebrows afterwards. This way, if I move any hairs or touch it while I'm doing my highlight or whatever, I can cover it up after the fact versus before. I just feel like every time I try doing my eyebrows before, it turns out to be a hot mess express. Okay, so for the under eye area, I think I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to apply that bitter color, which is the darker um, orangey brown color from the Vice Four palette. And I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. And I apply it kind of with the brush flat. This way it makes like a bigger smoked out look versus putting it in here like this on the outer corner. But then I switch the position of it so it's more at the point as I move in towards the inner portion of my eye because I want it to be more of a flared out effect. And then I'm going to go in with a larger um, kind of pencil brush, but this one's a little bit fluffier and a little bit more, and obviously it's bigger and fluffier. And I'm going to apply that fastball color and I'm going to smoke and blend it down. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to use this liquid liner by Urban Decay in the color Demolition. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Mascara Duo. I'm going to use the primer, which is the sub subversion. And we're going to apply that all over the lashes to coat and make them more fluffy and thick and long and beautiful. Okay, so next I'm just gonna apply some false lashes. I am just gonna use these Kiss lashes that I've worn like a thousand times and I will be right back. So next I'm just gonna tight line my bottom lower lashes with this Rimmel Nude um, Eyeliner Cold Pencil. And we're just gonna put this on the inside of the eye just to help brighten the look. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So my eyebrows 
routine is very simple, it's nothing special. All I do is fill it in with a little bit of eyebrow pencil and a little bit of powder. Set it and it's good to go. It's really boring, but I'll show you anyways. I'm gonna take this eyebrow pencil by Wet n Wild, just the brown, and I'm gonna kind of fill them in a little bit so they're not as sparse. And I do it really lightly because since I put in the powder, it just kind of gives the powder a little something to cling and stick to. So I'm not really doing too much with it other than just putting a little bit of that through the brow. And then I just take an eyeshadow because I can't be spending money on eyeliner or eyebrow and stuff. So I just take a color that's close to my natural eye color. This is just a brown. And then with a angle brush, I start to fill them in. When I put the powder in, I put it towards the middle and I start to fill it in and blend it out and then I work my way towards the front so that I don't have as much product on it and it's not as harsh in the front. It just looks more natural. And that's pretty much all I do. And then I just take a clear gel and rush it through. To set it in place. Okay, so next time I'm going to apply my highlight, and I'm actually going to use a mixture of two pigments by Makeup Forever. I'm really liking this combination. So this one is kind of a white, well, like an orange sort of dual chrome, and this is a, these are the star powders. And the number of this one is um, 940, I believe. And then this one is a pink, but it has like a gold, um undertone or glitter or reflex gold, goldness to it. It's really pretty. And this one is number 916. So what I do is I'm going to go in with the white one first. And I'm going to apply this with a fan brush to my cheek. And it kind of gives you a little bit of like a golden sheen. And then I go in with that pink one because it's got more of a gold to it. The gold comes out more than the pink. And I really like the way that these two look together. But I don't know how well they translate on camera, but like in life, it's so pretty. So next time I'm going to apply my blush, and I'm going to use this color by NYX called Ignite or Passion. And I'm just going to apply this with a stippling brush. This is like probably one of my favorite color blushes that I own. It's just a pretty orange for my skin tone. So if you're tan or you're Latina, this is the color for you. And then for the lips, I think I'm going to go on with this Milani color. I just bought it. It's, one of the, it's a pink metallic and the color is called Prismatic Touch.
these lipsticks are a little bit dry, so I did put a little bit of um, like a balm before it. It's just this um, Too Faced, and it's just like butter. It doesn't really have any color. It's clear, but it's uh, like really good for moisturizing your lips. Always put this on before I put on something like this that's really drying. And yeah, I just think it's really pretty with the orange blush and the pink in the lips is kind of shining, which kind of matches the metallic and the pink in the eyes. So why not? And so there you have it, folks. That is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.